In this part, we are going to cover some of the more advanced features of Adalo. I'm going to touch on custom formulas, notifications, using Zapier, external collections, and then to wrap this up, we will talk about publishing your web app or your mobile app. So let's go ahead and explore custom formulas. So with Adalo, you can do basic math operators with your formulas, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And you can also use functions like count, sum, average, and set minimum, maximum parameters. So as an example, let's say I wanted to put on my homepage how many dogs are available. Instead of entering this information manually, I can create a formula by adding a text component and removing the text here and doing magic text, which is going to say um, dogs count. And then I'm going to enter in text that says dogs available for adoption. And so now this will update whenever there's a dog added to be adopted. So if we preview this, and you can see here it's updated with the number from counting the dogs in our collection. Another way you can use formulas is doing like a checkout situation. So for the sake of example, let's just say that when a user finds a dog that they want to adopt, and let's say it has an adoption fee, we want to go to a page that has a dog's name, the adoption fee, and let's say we have to include a tax. So now we need to show the user um, a total with the tax included. So to do this, we would do a new formula and we can click in here to edit. And the formula is going to be the current dog's adoption fee times 0 0.05 plus the adoption fee. And the number format is going to be currency and now let's add some text that says total. Log in real quick. And now we'll see that the total has populated based off of this adoption fee and the tax rate. So obviously this can get more complex. Let's say if you were doing a e-commerce store or a restaurant delivery app where you wanna um, sum the total of orders of items in your order and you want to include a tip or tax there, you would use a new formula like I just did, and that's where you would use your basic math operators and so on. So now let's talk about advanced actions using um, notifications. So let's say after someone completed this adoption checkout, um, you wanted to send a notification to the logged in user. You can set notifications with quick actions. So you would add another action and go to notifications and then trigger notification. Here you can set the recipient to one or many people and then you can populate the title and the body with just normal text or you can pull in information from your database collections to customize the notification. And then you, of course you can set this to be something that happens always or just sometimes. And when you hit sometimes then you, you can set up parameters of what has to happen or be true in order for someone to receive notification. You can also use Zapier for advanced actions. So let's say someone uh, hits contact on this um, dog. You could connect Adalo using Zapier to some other platform that can update the information based off actions that were taken within your app. And if we head over to Zapier, you can see all the different things that you can do with the Dalo and other platforms. Um, it integrates with Gmail, Airtable, Trello, Twilio, Slack, and so on. And lastly, you can set up external collections in Adalo. And to do this, you go to your database icon, and if you had a paid plan, you would be able to connect via an API to an external collection like Airtable. You can 
use actions and forms within a DALO to create, update, and delete data in your external collection. So um, you can manage data that way as well. And it essentially, as, it, as the name implies, is just another database, like the database is available within the app. And once you are all set with your web app or mobile app, you are ready to publish. And to publish, you simply go here. And if you are on a free plan, you get um, a Adalo domain, which you can customize to some extent. Um, if you had a paid app, then you can set your own domain. And if you are publishing a mobile app, then of course you would have to create a developer account on both platforms, um, which will have to be approved, but with web apps, obviously they are published immediately and changes go live um, immediately as well. So this has been a tutorial on Adalo, all the way from the basics to the more advanced features. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out in Slack or on Twitter. Thanks for watching.